Hey all, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth, and we shall be continuing on on day six. Today is um, Monday. Happy New Week. Monday, December 6, 2021, and happy feast day of St. Nicholas. I shall be reading to you Luke chapter 6, verses 1 through 49, and Acts of the Apostles chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. And I hope you're enjoying your advent. And I hope you will have a lovely week too. Anyway, so let's begin. Luke chapter 6. Debates about the Sabbath. While he was going through a field of grain on a Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priests could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath, so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he, reckoned, but he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to, to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Mission of the Twelve in those days, he departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Ministering to a great multitude, and he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his, of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed from, of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. Sermon on the Plain And raising his eyes toward his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich! 
for you have received reconciliation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. Love of enemies. But to you who hear I say, love for enemies, to do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that of you? To you, even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount, but rather love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High, for he himself is kind to, to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your father is merciful. Judging others. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you, a good measure packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. And he told them a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can he say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from our own eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in our brother's eye. A tree known by its fruit. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick... <laughs> For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks. The Two Foundations why do you call me Lord, Lord, but do not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a person building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. When the flood came, the river burst against that house, but could not shake it because it had been well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once and was completely destroyed. And that was Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, 
verses 1 through 49. And now I shall be reading to you. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. A very short chapter. I might have said that last year. This year, I mean, when I was reading um, Acts of the Apostles in January of 2021. Anyway. Acts chapter 6. The need for assistance. At that time, as the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, Prochorius, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. Accusation against Stephen. Side note, Stephen was the first martyr. Now back to the Bible. Now Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenaeus and Alexandrians, and people from Sicilia and Asia, came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the, the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified. This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus, the Nazarene, will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. And that was Acts verse, chapter 6 verses 1 through 6, 15. And also the feast, so today is December 6th. Feast of St. Nicholas, and this Feast of St. Stephen is on December 27th or 28th, and the Christmas Carol, um, Good King Wenceslas, he got Wenceslas I'm talking about, um, the song describes the day that he went out on the Feast of St. Stephen with his servant. And I believe that Wenceslas, King Wenceslas, St. King Wenceslas was killed on the Feast of St. Stephen or something like that. Um, but King Wenceslas is a saint. But anyway, that's just a little side note. But happy Feast of St. Nicholas and happy um, New Week. And I hope you're enjoying yourself. And make sure to check out my other videos as well. God love ya.